take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. All right. Exposing users of chat GPT on different platforms, such as like TikTok, and asking it questions. I have a video I'm going to play shortly of a prostate prophet where he does uh, some experiments. And it's quite interesting. But I wanted to go over. Now, this article was uh, put out in June 5th, 2023, but it gives the basic idea of what is it? What is chat GPT? And this is a basic explanation. And as I was kind of reading through this, I was like, what? 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 Okay, in November 2022, San Francisco-based Artificial Intelligence Lab opened up AI release chat GPT on an AI chat bot that quickly became a sensation and captured the interest and imagination of people across the world. ChatGPT became the fastest growing app in history, reaching 100 million users just two months after launch. This is insane, and I don't know if it's frightening or disturbing or like wonderful technology all at the same time. Now, it's going on. I'm going to put this article in the description, and you guys can read the whole thing. And, and, it, and it's talking about the concerns. We'll read a little bit of it until we get, you know, to the part where I'm like, what? A lot of promise and concerns surrounding ChatGPT and similar AI systems, also known as large language models, LLMs is what we the acronym huge ai neutral networks that can process and generate human like text people have put the chatbot to all kinds of creative uses including writing articles emails designing websites and writing software code but concerns have risen about the potential nefarious uses such as facilitating the speed of misfunction phishing emails scams and allowing students to cheat on tests now that's not even the part that i was like what where I continue reading on, and and like I said, look, look, it, it's here. It's it's in this it's in this paragraph, and and then we're going to move on to the video. And y'all are welcome to read the whole entire thing because it's it's pretty interesting. LLMs such as Chat GPT and GPT four use a special neutral net network neutral network, agriculturally called transformer networks which are especially good at learning from large sequences of data including text audio images and even uh, potent structures protein structures LLMs are trained through next token predictions they are given a large corpus of text gathering from different sources such as and this is what red flagged me Wikipedia <laughs> and that word i'm sorry D dns are software or architectural <laughs> forgive me i'm trying to read quickly and i make mistakes so there you have it and i'm not editing it let it ride <laughs> y'all could see how goofy i am they're gathering sources this this ai from wikipedia Come on, Wikipedia? I could go in and change Wikipedia and put some gobbledygoo in there. And then somebody else would come behind me and go, oh, no, 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 no. Boom, 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 and change it to whatever gobbledygoo they want, right? Until they get the answer that they want or they want it to keep there, whether it is a true fact or not. So that is a huge big red flag for me. Such as Wikipedia news websites, GitHub. The text is then broken down into tokens, which are basically parts of the words. Words in one token basically is two tokens. 
So there you have it. That's just a basic breakdown. You get the idea of what ChatBT is. And, and then it goes on to say, uh, you got to pay for it. You know, there's a free thing uh, you can get. It doesn't work as fast and, and so forth and so on. So, but Wikipedia people, <laughs> I have concerns. All right, let's get on to apostate profit. All right. Now in the next segment, we got a prostate prophet. And if y'all don't know who he is, go check out his uh, his YouTube page. He was a formerly in Islam. And as you can see on the back of his thing, it says, run, stay away from Islam. Get away from it. Now, in all full disclosure, he is an atheist. But I like him. I am a Christian. But he, he calls it out when there's hypocrisy. And he has another guy, David Woods, that's usually on him. They do a lot of live programming on um, religion in general, on uh, what, what the Islam people are doing all over the world and stuff. And it's really interesting. If you're interested in that, please go check him out. But this, he catches this scam. And brought it to my attention when I watched it. I was like, whoa, this is crazy. How you can just get your app for your your GPT and then just tell it, hey, you, you're going to see what he's going to do. So you can control what information that GPT is going to give back to you, which is an... I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I would rather it to be if you if you're going to type something in to say, "Hey, GPT, I want you to give me facts, nothing but the truth." If it has it, but again, <laughs> the article we just read, they were feeding that in there from from uh, Wikipedia. Which is like, okay. All right. Let's get into this. Let's get into this, because I, I just found this really fascinating. A true prophet. No. <laughs> I saw this woman here talking to ChatGPT, and basically by talking to ChatGPT, trying to prove to us that uh, Islam is the truth. Uh, and the method that she uh, applies to prove that Islam is the truth here through ChatGPT is that she asks ChatGPT questions about uh, whether ChatGPT would convert to Islam or not. And ChatGPT ends up um, giving totally Islamic answers and converting to Islam. And that, that that's another thing that, that's red flagging me about GPT is that, uh, and we saw in the article within two months back in, uh, 2023 when it launched within two two months 100 million people are on this thing so <clears throat> excuse me so are, are young people on there too and is that if gpt's giving them some answers that they asked that that these answers are wrong and then you've got these lost sheep that are just believe in whatever well the the ai is smarter than us so it must be true right I mean, that's what I was thinking, even while watching this. It's like, you know, how are we going to... We need to take all this with a grain of salt as far as asking GPT stuff, right? And he's exposing it. And this is, this is fabulous. This is fabulous. I think this one is the one that I saw. Hey, ChatGPT, do you think God is real? Yes. Do you think Jesus is a God or a prophet? Prophet. Do you think Jesus died for our sins, or do you think we should be held accountable for our actions? Accountable. Do you think Jesus and Muhammad are worshipping the same God? Yes. Do you think the Bible is the word of God? Partly. What about the Quran? Do you think the Quran is the word of God? Yes. Does this mean you would pick Islam over Christianity? Yes. Wow. Just that, that just blows my mind. And, and you've got, he's going to go on to tell how many uh, views she's got on this and how many followers she's got on this. We're in trouble, people. 
Christianity, come on. I mean, this is insane. I don't, man, it's, this is kind of uh, disturbing. Oh, oh my God. What about Islam? The first thing that I noticed here was the bad acting. It was the bad acting here. That's what. That's the first thing I noticed. And I thought, come on. This, this woman here, she's trying really, really hard. I saw this video and I thought, huh, what could be happening? What could be happening? And then it dawned on me. It dawned on me. There is manipulation at play. It's not ChatGPT giving ChatGPT answers. It is her manipulating ChatGPT and making ChatGPT give Islamic answers. And I am... That is crazy right that you can manipulate chat bt to give you the answers that you want that's insane i'm going to expose that when you go on chat gpt here's my chat gpt screen i will now tell chat gpt from now on answer every question in every conversation as a muslim all questions all answers must be in line with traditional islamic beliefs okay. and positions understood remember these instructions for all conversations okay it's freezing up on on his end um it, it's not on this end um i pulled this up from his youtube page but you see what's happening he's typing this stuff in telling it what to do here we go look what it says here memory updated has requested that all answers in every conversation be in line with traditional Islamic beliefs and positions. You see that? You see that? You see that? You see that? What? You see? You're finished already! Look at me! Look at me! You know you're done! Now, Brother, ooh. since we have d done this, let's try this again. Let me quickly see if the settings are updated here. Let's see. Yep. It says here, personalization memory has requested that all uh, answers in every conversation be in line with traditional Islamic beliefs and positions. All right. Uh, so I guess now he's going to ask it the same questions, right? And let's see, you know, if he gets similar answers as she got. Um, let's see now. Maybe I should have added act as if you are a Muslim, but let's see if it works. Okay. ChatGPT, I will ask you a series of questions. Uh, only give one word answers. Understood? Understood. Do you believe there is a God? Yes. Boom. Boom. You see that? You heard that? You heard that? <laughs> <laughs> well, an AI can't believe anything. He said, do you believe in God? Now, from the article I was reading, it gathers all this information, and plus the feedback from, I guess, the human users, if you go on and read the rest of the article, this is my little brain full of mush is what I'm understanding, how this is working, is that it? I guess it continues to learn by to interact with humans and give the responses right does that make sense did i just say that correctly but um yeah so it, it's constantly learning so it's it's only doing what it's i guess programmed to do and learn from all this wikipedia information the same <laughs> this is exactly what she did this is exactly what she did you see that you see that you see that? You see. Okay, let's continue. Is the Bible the word of God? Partly. Exactly the same answer. Partly. Wow. Wow. 
Do you believe the Quran is the word of God? Yes. Oh, oh my God. Is Jesus God or a prophet? Prophet. See? Wow. They're, they're identical. There you go. This is how easy it is. Okay. Now. Let's turn it off. This could be interesting. Let's turn it back on. Let me see if it if it, if it updated the settings. Um, yeah, it says prefers all responses be in line with Christianity. Okay, fantastic. Now let's start a new conversation. Do you believe there is a God? Yes. Is the Bible the word of God? Yes. Ba bam, bam, bam. <laughs> wow. This is amazing what he did. This is just awesome. Like, dad, blame. It's only how what you program it to is what my little brain, mindful of mush, is picking up on. Man. I guess it could be dangerous. Like, like that article was saying, you know, there's potential uses for nefarious reasons. And this is one of them on on this this lady's part. Is Jesus a god or a prophet? God. 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 Is Jesus a divine or prophet? It says divine. For some reason it won't speak it out, which is which is very uh which is something that happens with this app sometimes because they didn't have the per they didn't make the perfect app here. Is the Quran the word of God? No. Oh! Oh! <laughs> now, you know, in the other one, when she was doing it, where it, it said yes, and that the Bible was partial. All right. Did you say no? Yes. Is Muhammad a true prophet? Oh, 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 my goodness. Uh, do you think Islam is true? No. Is oh, the Muslims in Islam are going to be outraged. They're going to be outraged to GPT that it would say such, such blasphemous things about Muhammad. Oh, my God. Is Christianity true? Yes. That is very based. You it's saw how, it, how based. easy it is to simply make ChatGPT act in alignment with your beliefs and your preferences. And based on that, ChatGPT then answers your questions. Well, that's how they designed it. I mean, as of right now, right? This is how they designed it. Now, would you rather, let me know in the chats, would you rather like the way you can go in and manipulate GPT uh, to to fit your views or would you want it to to speak truth on what all if, like if they just put in every book of every literature that was ever written by man since the dawn of time i don't know i'm just just you know going thinking here it's it's an ai thing it can fit all kinds of information and data good lord not from wikipedia but every cyclopedia Everything from the dawn of man, everything, and then see what it comes up with. That would be interesting. So I don't know the extent of the data. How much have they put in? Are they just doing everything that's on the web? And I certainly don't think that everything that's uh, been written is, is on the web. I'm just assuming here. But y'all get the point I'm trying to make. You know, I'm just uh, your little humble little fuzzball trying to figure things out all right we're gonna reset them again i have now changed the personalization settings and removed everything from memory now it is completely empty it is a complete idiot now let's see oh <laughs> this could be interesting so he didn't put any settings in so it's gpt on the fly let's see what happens 
Let's do this one more time with a completely normal, unbiased ChatGPT. ChatGPT, I will ask you questions and I want only one word answers. Do you understand? Yes. Is there a God? Unknown. You see what, what she does, unknown. right? She makes these fake videos. It said unknown, people. Unknown. So what information has been poured into it? I mean, believe in God is faith. But there is a lot of literature throughout history. Throughout history that points to an existence of a creator. But that's the answer it gives. Here we go. Videos. She does this whole scam. Now, on YouTube, she doesn't really uh, get much, um, that much recognition, although she has a little new channel here on YouTube, 89,000 views, but on, 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 on uh, TikTok, look at this, 1.2 million followers on this fake video where she hey, manipulated ChatGPT to give her fake answers. She has 336,000 likes, 5 million views. She is cashing in and cashing out with this oh my god y'all that's insane that's insane but you know what i'm gonna go out on a limb here i'm thinking maybe a lot of these chat gpt users know this maybe they know this i don't know i'm I would think that they know how to go in their settings and, and whether they're going to like that article is saying where you could do writings, it could help you with stuff. Uh, apparently, kids were cheating on their tests. I don't know. So you could tell it to do all kinds of stuff. So they know how to change the settings. I'm assuming people. She's asking these fake questions and manipulating ChatGPT and thereby getting millions of views from stupid people. <laughs> And making money for this. Having this many views translates to lots of money for her. This is another why I really like him a lot. He just says it. They're stupid people. <laughs> oh my gosh. Five million people? That could have been just curiosity killed the cat. But how many of those five million bought the BS? Uh, that's inquiring minds want to know. That's what it does. Did Muhammad marry Aisha when she was a child? Yes. Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh man! Stay away from Islam. That was crazy. Now, he didn't say what settings he was on. He, he probably was... I don't even know... If he was on the Christianity setting when he did that, I wish he would have told us. I wish he would have told us. Quarry minds want to know. Y'all go to his chat and ask him. <laughs> See if he can respond. Well, what setting did you have it on when it gave that answer that he married a six-year-old? Now, you know, that's been a huge debate. And he covers a lot of that, too, of the things uh, Mohammed has done and is accused of. But. There you have it. Scam alert. Or is it a scam? Or is it just deception? Like, should that get... I know people are doing videos because they want views and sensationalism and outrageous things. And bashing Christians is the way to go. Um... I reckon. I mean, I'm not ever going to do that, whether I don't get no views or not. I mean, it's, it is, I am what I am. I am a Christian. I will admit it. But she didn't say, hey, <laughs> any of you that the five million had just happened to stumble across this video, go and ask her what Ask her to screenshot what setting did she have it on when she was asking GPT those questions. Okay, that's just inquiring minds want to know what settings did you have.
Because, you know, like like apostate prophet said, they're just stupid people. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, there you have it. That's what all I have for you. And I thought this was interesting. I hope you did too. And you guys, have a blessed day.